Hello and welcome viewers and subscribers of AVG News. My name is Mkolisi, the son of Nube. Uh, I want us to talk about what is happening at the Pan-African Parliament uh, where the House is expected to elect its new president following the expiration of the term of Zimbabwean. Chief Fortune Charumbira was the president of the house before the elections that were held in Zimbabwe. You will know that when a member or when a, a president of the house or any leader of the house uh, undergoes elections in their own country, that means they relinquish their position in the house. So today what happened is that there is supposed to be an election of the new president in a plenary session that is currently sitting in Midrand. And what has been happening is that there is a Zambian delegation which is rooting for another candidate who is from that country and his name is Sampa. So we hear uh, one of the Zambian delegation members or the spokesperson of the Zambian delegation, Joseph Kalimbe, as he speaks to their pursuit of the position. Uh, now today we are going uh, to have the election of the Pan-African Parliament President. The plenary is going to meet and the final decision will be made. Um, we have been campaigning very fiercely over the past uh, months to ensure that the Pan-African Parliament gets a new president. And uh, we have been articulating our policies, our viewpoints and that which we seek to achieve. Uh, our candidate for this position is uh, uh, Mao Sampa and uh, we have been very clear, ideologically explaining that which we, we seek to achieve which is that we want the Pan-African Parliament that is transparent, that is accountable, and the President that understands the issues that are happening on the African continent. Now, our opponents have been attacking us very fiercely over the past months. They have been writing all sorts of articles. Those articles have been shared um, in different countries to demonize us and that which we stand for. We have not taken a stance to demonize anybody, but to speak and articulate our issues. And our issues have been that we want to deliver a president that is strong on policies, that is strong on viewpoints, and that will ensure that every African has a chance at success. That candidate is Mao Sampa. And even like I said uh, two days ago, we've come here and left our political party affiliations at the airport in Lusaka to, candidate, to campaign rather for our candidate to ensure that we deliver him safely to the president. Now, I have seen in the past days there's been a propaganda narrative being spread that Zambians are fighting for positions against Zimbabweans. Look, let me be clear. We are not fighting for positions against anybody. We are in politics, and politics entails the contestation of ideas. We are competing, and we believe that our ideas are a better place to lead the Pan-African Parliament. And so this narrative that is being spread at Zambia since the inception of President Akainde Ichirema, our leader, has sold out. That is not true. Our nation has never sold out. We are a country of Kenneth Kaunda, which in 1976 stood firm to ensure that most of these nations in Sadiq, from South Africans here in Johannesburg, to Namibians in Bindu, to individuals in Zimbabwe, Zambia has always stood forth with Southern Africa. We have welcomed in our city in Lusaka the Barakian Strako Icon. They live with us. They spoke our Zambian languages. And so this narrative that we are trying to sell out is wrong. And we must be able to understand though, that this narrative is coming from Liberation uh, Strago supporters who believe that it's only them and them alone who hold the monopoly of political wisdom. That is wrong. President Hichilema came into office and is leading our country and people must be able to accept us. We have never been a nation that has sold out. I'm a fourth generation Zambian from the Kaunda generation. And we will continue to stand forth and defend that which is right. We will continue to extend our Zambian hand of friendship to those who respect the basic human rights of their people. Like Kaunda did when he was fighting against C.N. Smith and his regime in Zimbabwe. When he was fighting to ensure that the ANC can lead South Africa. When Oliver Tambo lived in our capital in Lusaka, and so we've never sold out. And we are here particularly to compete politically. 
to ensure that we deliver Mao Sampa to the President of the Pan-African Parliament. And so all the eyes of the African continent are today fixed on Johannesburg to hear the news that are the members of the Pan-African Parliament going to continue with an individual who is conflicted, who has been accused of trying to sleep with his knees, or they are going to choose a new path. And I want to speak to you directly, the voters today. Think about the future of Africa. Do you want a future where only daughters and those relatives of um, the former president get a chance at success? Or do you want a future where every African, whether you hold a famous surname or not, can have a chance and be employed by an African institution? And that is why we are submitting Mao Sampa to that leader. To you, go and vote with your political consciousness. The entire African continent is looking up to you. Whether you support somebody that has been accused of all this financial management, of non-accountability, or you are going to usher in a new wave of leadership and give our candidate a chance. And so I want to speak directly to you, particularly also the women. You never want somebody that has been accused of wanting to sleep with his niece to continue leading a Pan-African institution like the Papua Parliament. So give us a chance. Lastly, I want to speak to those who have spoken about us in a negative way. We are never going to exchange your words with negativity. I know many of you have been saying, no, you are too young to, to say these things. They are using age as a smoke screen on which to project my views. And as spokesperson of this campaign, I want to state that we are never going to be intimidated by those. We're never going to be intimidated by those who want to use age as a smoke screen on which to project views. We are here to compete. When in politics, to compete and to compete very, very spirited. We're never going to be intimidated. We're not going to fear anybody. We're never going to allow anyone that will say Mao Sampa is too young and still has a chance. Nobody holds the monopoly of wisdom. Age does not know wisdom. And so every single person must be given a chance. And we believe very strongly that our candidate has that chance to lead the Pan-African Parliament. And that is why I'm lastly asking you, give us a chance. Victory is possible. Aluta, continua. Thank you.